I'm making this video of my Masio Warrior 1000. And I can tell you right now, I'm very unhappy with it. I purchased it in Texas at Grand Prairie, place in Grand Prairie, two weeks ago. Bought a trailer, towed it 16 hours to Colorado where I live most of the year. And this thing ran fine when I bought it. But now I'm in Colorado and it doesn't want to run. To show you the background of where I'm at, Colorado. So I call the people that I purchased it from in Grand Prairie and they told me that it's probably something to do with the altitude and the weather. I said, are you kidding me? A $20,000 machine and you guys don't take in consideration that somebody might go to Colorado elk hunting or something. But anyways, I get to Colorado after 16 hour drive and start it up to get it off the trailer to go ride with my friends that we've been waiting to do. And the thing doesn't want to run right. It starts popping and making all kinds of noise. This muffler right here, which I can't show you right now, but I will show you later, was glowing red. The whole muffler, cherry red. And again, I just bought this thing. So this morning, being Monday, I called the manufacturer in Garland, Texas. And he tells me that I got to disconnect the battery, which I have. And I got to wait 15 minutes. And then he says, it will clear the computer and reset the computer to your altitude of where you're at. So I'm waiting. And then he says, if that doesn't work, you must take off the muffler. So now I'm working on a brand new machine. You got to take off the muffler. I guess right here, and there's a strain and a strainer in there. A screen, he said. Now because it was running too lean, it would be maybe clogged up. So now I got to be a mechanic on a brand new machine that I just got two weeks ago and rode maybe once or twice. 